seventy something, right? Um, I thought that you know, first of all, uh, that basketball team playing is we were in, in getting in preparation for them. We we knew that uh, they would be like that on the bounce. I mean, it was um, we only had a little bit of film, but there's a lot of really really good players uh, in Memphis, and they got a lot of those guys there, and they can all really, really put it down the deck, and and the film showed that they could. Uh, you know, really create some problems with the basketball and, and then obviously shoot the ball in the three-point line. Uh, really, really fast team at times. I mean, it was, you know, it, it, it surprised you. And uh, we saw that on film. We, we talked a lot about those things, and we, we had, they, they got a good rhythm the first half, after, especially after the start. We had a pretty good start, but um, couldn't get them under control. And second half, um, I think we started out, got a little bit lucky there because they missed a few shots from the basket, whether we caused the, the, the miss or what. But um, then I thought there was a period of time where we just, we just guarded them pretty good. And offense was never going to be the issue for us. Um, obviously, 51 points at halftime. That was Mike in foul trouble and a very, very limited number of touches. So, um, but uh, it was fun to get some stops, get some rebounds, and get on the break. And, Finish some plays and it's good to kind of get some guys out there. Um, very, very short period of time here to get ready. Um, you know, for, for a lot of these young guys. And um, certainly I think we played a little bit better than we did the other night. Did you make any adjustments on Johnson and Dickens in the second half? You know, we, just, we not from a strategy standpoint. We just talked about being better on the ball. Um, we were losing our, our stance, losing our position while guarding it after after one bounce, and they were basically getting in the lane uh, on our closeouts. Um, we had poor positioning on uh, taking away the three point shot, but we're giving direct lines to the basket. We just had poor stance, and it was disappointing because it's something we worked a tremendous amount on. But a lot of the guys, it's kind of the first time through, and um, I think you saw some of the older guys do a little bit better job. But well, no, not, we just, I think we just did what we wanted to do better. It, it was the first first game for Marshawn. What did you think of his night? What he was able to do coming off the, uh, the illness, I guess. You know, the first half uh, had a couple great catches. He got great hands. Uh, then the second half, he got a little more comfortable with spacing and was able to just get in around and attack a little bit. Chunk, did the you players talk about the talking more on defense in the second half? Is that something y'all uh, emphasize at that time? They do it on their own? No, I, you know, we, and again, the only thing we talked about at halftime was a better attitude towards defense and uh, doing some things in practice. And, um, talking is really important. They do it all the time except on defense sometimes too. So it's a really amazing deal. Amazing deal. Like these guys have never shut up, but then on these things they all get quiet. So it's it's kind of it's very, very ironic. But um, you know, we had a better energy about us. But I think too, you know, got to give uh, uh, you know, the, the, the other team credit because if we didn't they didn't have our attention coming through the door, and by no means we were dogging it. We saw the first half, but I think you know, like you know, they, they, I think they got. Understand that we had a really, really difficult time guarding those guys off the bounce. And the whole night it was, we had an issue with the power four, so about guarding the ball because they basically had another guard there that can do it. I think it's number one, Johnson. He's, he's a good player. And it's a tough matchup for one of our big. We're not going to face somebody that puts it down like that, basically, to guard. They're putting his hands a lot, trying to get us in space. <coughs> he's good at it. You were fresh from power, I had a pretty good game, Brian had a pretty good game, Mitchell had a pretty good game, Nobles had a lot of assists, what do you think your freshman guys? A lot of times they, they were very good, you know, I thought that um, you know, Marshawn and Glenn got in there rebound, they rebound the ball pretty well, Marshawn scored it very well uh, around the basket. Um, you know, I, I, I'm so hard on Julisky's right now just with uh, trying to get him ready to go because he, he, he can't be a freshman. The numbers surprise you. We're going to see it because I don't feel like he's playing that well. But hey, this is two turnovers, pretty good, pretty good. And, and um, um, 
you know, for Brandon to be able to get out there and basically get for one or two days of practice at most. Um, basically, no conditioning. I thought, thought that he did some good things, and it's exciting to see if we can uh, kind of work him in the mix. Did he practice? We knew he went to football practice. Was he at basketball practice yesterday? It was kind of his, so yesterday was kind of his first day to make the cross. I don't, don't want to give any bad information, yeah. so I, I didn't get him to practice it, yesterday. Yeah, you don't want Spurrier. I, I, I don't want to. Did, did, uh, make sure I get you guys the right information on that. I mean, did, did, did he surprise you? I, I know you weren't playing, you know, the greatest team, but he went in there and probably had a yes. and Yes, yes. I mean, I think the young, the young man, I don't know how much he's done, period, physically, yeah. uh, in the last little bit. Because I'm, you know, I'm not with him uh, when, when, he's, when he's practicing football. So, I mean, um, yes, those things. I, I know if he got a situation where he would be athletic, uh, he's going to be athletic. I mean, he's, he's very athletic. Uh, but he's serious. I, you know, a lot like Monk a year ago, he's an incredible kid to this point in time that I've had my limited experience with him, and uh, that excites me because the locker room is very, very important to me. And uh, so we're when he's with that type of attitude and motion down, I said, yes, sir. And I'm, I'm excited to see with that athletic ability what we can kind of work him into the next thing he did. Whatever you're going to announce next week, the, as far as taking these two games to get some guys ready that you know are going to play. How do you feel like uh, those young ones and, and even the juniors, you know, have come along? Well, I think we made progress from Monday. Um, but the bottom line is, you know, in our first game, it won't uh, it'll be completely different for us because um, there's going to be some people that won't be there. And um, that's one large we've had is we've had some uh, – had everybody kind of go to. So, um, although I'm pleased with, with the fact that we got a little bit better, um, we've got to make some progress here in the next six days because uh, our greatest challenge is going to lie ahead of us here with, with what's getting ready to happen. John, with a bunch of uh, new guys again, talking about the chemistry of this team, seems like especially the young guys get along very, very well. Yes, I think those guys' attitude are tremendous. Um, on and off the court, they they are, are not perfect, but they get where they're supposed to be. They come to practice, they, they get to class, they get to study hall. Um, uh, they're coachable. I, I, I really appreciate that. Thank you, Zach. You guys bring a bunch of blocks at the end of the night. Do you think that's going to be something that you can expect from them night in, night out? I hope so. I, mean, I think that um, obviously he's going to run on to some, some different human beings now coming at the basket. He's not always going to be a resident. He's going to be coming. Some guys will be coming at him that that are uh, probably a lot like him athletically. So uh, that in itself will change. Right now, these past two games, he's been probably the more athletic human being standing back there. But uh, yeah, I think he's always going to find a way to get some of those into the game. And he's, he's, he's got to get for doing that. Now that the exhibition season's over with, can you talk about your anticipation for the regular season to begin? Well, I, obviously we're excited about it. Uh, very, very important weekend. Be staring double sessions both days in the, in the face. And, uh, those young guys have got to got to cover some ground. Um, they work hard, got a great attitude, but we got to give them some experience. We got they got they got to get to know where they where they're going. And um, uh, we're gonna be put in some situations that, that they're definitely not ready for. And uh, we're gonna try to get them ready. Um, but um, we gotta do the best we can do. I think so. I'm excited. Well, based on what I saw, I'm excited about the fact that, like I said, he's a uh, tremendous kid. That's what I was told uh, by Bobby. And um, obviously, we seem to be athletic. Uh, that ball fake pull up was pretty good. It's pretty good. So, uh, yeah, I'm excited to see him get better for a few days, get him running around, start getting him a little basketball shape, and, and hopefully, uh, he's able to pick up some things. We have covered a lot of ground before he, you know, he's obviously behind understanding concepts and schemes, so uh, he's going to have a lot of work ahead of him.